Rockwell has been defeated, resulting in a power surge across the whole arc. A surge that was strong enough for us to use the portal the survivors before us created to escape this arc and get to the planet down below. Maybe we will find out what happened to those who came before us. Maybe we'll only have more questions. Whatever it may be, though, it's waiting for us to discover it down there. Hello everybody, my name is Jay Steele, you can call me James, and welcome to TOS Gaming. We are on Earth. We just got done battling Rockwell, and we have finally come to Earth. So, uh, my goal for this little Let's Play series that I want to do is just to kind of go around and just explore the map a little bit. Um, we dropped in with all our gear we're on a private server and everything so uh we can transfer stuff in and out of the place nice and easy but we're just gonna come down a little bit and just kind of explore around for a bit here i kind of already roughly know where i want to build a base but we got to get a spot to start so that's going to be today's uh this episode's focus And we are running one mod on the server, which adds a binocular spyglass. So that's, apart from that, everything else is basically just 2x settings, except for uh, mating. That's all 3x stuff. But uh, experience, taming, everything else is 2x. So where I want to build is going to be up there. But that's, we're not going to be able to get up there today. So we got to start here. There's a city terminal. There's one over there, but there's one kind of on the other side of the park here that I want to kind of get to, I think. We'll help the poor little beaver out. So, all right, I'm probably going to fast forward the walk over there. Just save you guys some time. All right, this is the city terminal that I was thinking about building by here. Um make it easy for getting stuff in and out of the arc it's either this one or the one over there in the Coliseum I'm not quite sure which one that I'd be happy with just yet but definitely I definitely like the city park area over here there's the beaver dens which um, is really good for helping people start because it good wo access to wood then you got the um, the cementing paste for when you start getting some metal so it's I think it's a good spot to start there's lamp posts over here there's not a whole lot of hostile stuff it's um, I think it's a, a pretty good starting spot if you want to start off in the city so let's see let's let's try and find a place to call home shall we Yeah, maybe we could build right here. Doesn't have to be big, but maybe just something to give it, you know, get a nice little view of the area. Or maybe it might make sense to be a little bit more over here. I think it may be down right on that ledge. I think this will be our, an all right spot. So, gonna start gathering some resources here, and I will bring you guys back when we got a, a foundation of a base started. 
All right, guys, so here's where I'm kind of at. I've got this area back here that's going to kind of be the, the main first floor of the base. I think I'm going to make it like a, a two-level base. Um, then i got this little area that's going to be kind of like a little porch here, I think. Uh, I'll have, like, cooking right here. I want to build a little bridge over this for being able to walk down and go that way to go do things over there. Um, I'm going to have a little uh, handrail kind of along the edge here. And I do want to eventually come over and put a ramp right here uh, about. So I, I think that'd be easier for getting Thames up here because you can take and walk them right up here. Um, I don't much like walking over this area here. I don't like that a whole lot, but eh, I, I can deal with it for now. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, back here was kind of an awkward building spot, so I think I'm just going to put a door here and a ramp, and we can keep like dung beetles or snails back here, and that should kind of keep them trapped in pretty well. So I'm going to build up a little bit more, might get some furnishings in, and we'll bring you back when we got some more progress. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, here, I'll show you guys what I, I got done with our little starter base. I got a nice little handrail to make sure we don't fall off down there. Um, I have fallen a couple of times, so I think uh, eventually I'm going to add a, just some pillars with some ladders attached to them so I can, get, uh, so I can climb out of there a lot easier. Um, but here's what we got going so far. For the most part, I think the only big thing I'm missing is a cooking pot, but for right now, I got campfire out here, um, got some storage, the mortar pestle, smithy. I wanted the smithy next to the window to have kind of a nice view while you're working, you know. Um, the forges, you can come right from the forge to the smithy. Um, preserving bin, I plan on putting a refrigerator here later on, and, um, uh, uh, probably just going to power it in the beginning off of batteries, so I'm, I'm going to put a fridge there. Um, I still kind of got a nice little big open area here. I got some storage here. Uh, I got a bed, and back here, some dung beetles or snails. I think this would be a good spot for them. Eventually, I want to... Oop, if I can climb the ladder. Uh, I want to get upstairs, and I want to expand uh, up here, you know, have a fabricator over here, and uh, maybe some more beds, some more storage. Uh, depends on uh, what all we need for for just kind of starting out. So that's that's kind of what I got going on here. Um, and I got a nice little bridge built here so that we can get get over a little bit easier. But yeah, that's that's where the starter base is at. Um, I think for the rest of the episode, then we're going to go around and just kill a couple of enforcers and be getting up or gathering up a little bit of metal. And yeah, so let's go find some enforcers. All right, here we go. I found an enforcer and there's a couple of trikes taking on a defense unit. Now, the enforcers I want because they're useful. They drop resources, uh, the electronics, scrap metal, oil, uh, element dust. The uh, defense units don't don't drop anything, so I wouldn't really waste your time killing one unless it was attacking you. Uh, these guys, the way I like to attack them best, you can do this starting out with uh, with just a primitive pike. Actually, I've I've taken out a 140 before with a primitive pike. Is you go up and you got to bowl the thing. The bad part is is you don't want to be standing in front because it has a stun ability when you're on the ground and it will stun you. So you want to bullet from behind and sometimes I don't know why but they it's like they miss or they phase through it you want to try and stand behind it and if you can get a bola to hit then it gets a little bit easier or it's easier to take them out that way otherwise they'll they'll stun you and send you flying all right and sometimes uh, I don't know why they just glitch out the enforcers. Uh, I, I shot like eight bulls and I just couldn't get it to work. So I'm going to make some more and go around and find another one. But I said we're going to kill some enforcers, so we're going to kill some enforcers. But not while it's under the Bronto, because I don't, I don't want to kill it, that thing either. Here, I'll just show you guys a little stun ability. See, they throw you away and stun you. And then it's, you're slowed down. So that's why you want to try and bowl them whenever you can. 
And now my gather rates are two X and I've got a really good, uh, really good tools. So, you know, expect less if you're playing on official servers or don't have as good of tools. But let's go find a couple more and try and get them to work with the bullets. So after running around the park a little bit more, I found another enforcer. They're pretty much all over the city park area. So it's a good place to find them. See, that one worked nice with the bullet. And then if you have a pike, you just sit here and hit it on the back of its tail. Or its back legs. And I really don't have the means to craft that, and it's not all that great, so I'm just going to leave it there for now, because I just don't need them. So, let's go find a couple more and uh, show you bowling them and killing them uh, with melee weapon. Alright, got our next victim here. Wasn't actually too far where we killed the last one. Yeah, we're just going to go around and get some materials from some of these guys. All the materials they give, the scrap metal, element, dust, electronics, oil, it's all really good. Uh, and I think they give a, a pretty fair bit of it. So I'm going to gather those up for a little bit longer. And we'll see you at the next one. All right, we're at our next enforcer here. Hopefully the bulls work on this one. I'm... We'll go get another one and see how that one goes. Let's try the old bull again. I was playing on some official servers uh, the other day, and it they weren't giving me this much trouble. Occasionally they would, but not like this. See, that one worked like it should have. And now we get some more resources. Let's go see if we can find one more on the way back to base which is home is that way. See you there. All right, I found the last enforcer, hopefully, on our way back home. Actually, there might be two over there. I can't carry too much more because I'm actually starting to get uh, get a little full on the weight. See, that one worked like it was supposed to. So yeah, that's, that's the general concept that we're trying to go for. So... I guess I am going to slowly walk limp back home since I'm too heavy now. And I will see you guys when we get there. We're almost home after a long, slow walk through the park carrying a bunch of metal. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Um, got a starter base here on Earth, or, well, Extinction, and... Yeah, we're going to use this a little bit for our front for getting a whole bunch of stuff done. And I'm thinking in the next episode, we're going to start to bring some tames in. I'm <clears throat> probably going to bring stuff for um, mining, harvesting, uh, a couple Argents are flying around. But I think that will do it for today's episode. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.